we're at the beginning of opening our eyes into and as the collective trauma structures. So it's kind of we are slowly waking up into the dimension, like what kind of architecture is waiting for us in the collective unconscious? Because by nature, it's hidden. When I ask you, where is the collective unconscious? Nobody can point to it. We see only incongruencies. So through the incongruencies, we make it visible. So when we are very present, we constantly see the incongruencies in life that are signposts how that collective trauma field is active. And also, of course, we see this in individuals. When we pay attention, we see the, the trauma being uh, active or triggered or show symptoms. So e establishing a kind of an inner way of being that is deep enough to, be, to participate in the awareness that can surface that. Because if I'm by myself, not in the right inner space, I'm just part of life. I need to have a certain internal stability to, to start to see and become aware of. So one part of training is how we can establish that kind of internal equilibrium to be part of the revelation. Because if I'm not part of the revelation, it doesn't exist for me. So when, when I become part of the revelation, which means I start feeling, seeing, and knowing, and all of this are sense-making, suddenly it starts to make sense. And not just because I heard about it, because I can feel it, I can see it, and I know also something about it. And then I'll, I'll participate in and as the revelation that's happening now. That's, a revel that's being part of the revelation because we're revealing something. And so when, when we begin to participate, then the, uh, the collective trauma field that is also a bigger part of my conditioning starts to become an object of my consciousness. It's not just so me that I can see it. It's, it's I become, a, oh, wow, yes. Like growing up in a culture of recurrent racism left that imprint in me. Growing up in post-World War II Austria left an imprint in me that I needed to work myself through, through a lot of inner work in order to shed it off my lens. Otherwise, it's just me. This is Thomas. No, but it's not just Thomas. It's the imprint of a strong trauma onto my, my own neuro, neural structure or my whole being. 